Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen um, I'm kind of interested about. Uh, I bought this pen, you know, um, at a reduced price from uh, the from Kilk. It's the Kilk Epigram. Uh, they gave me a discount to, uh, you know, for this review. Um, but it's a pen I'm super interested in. Uh, and let's have a look at it. So this is how it comes packaged. Nice sort of pretty large, actually, cardboard, you know, box. Opens up and you get a magnet that says uh, Vincit Omnia Veritas, which I'll come back to in a second. You've got a little polishing cloth for the silver on this pen and then a little bit of information. This is the epigram model. Uh, and as you can see, I have the brown, which is called the milky brown. There are three different colors available for this at the moment, lapis blue, malachite green, and this beautiful milky brown. So let's uh, have a look at it. Let's talk about some pros and uh, features, writing sample pros and cons and all that kind of stuff. So top of the pen is a nice sort of, you know, tapered dome. The cap swells out. You get this little nice little sort of step on the cap. Uh, that's before the the barrel. At the top of the barrel, oh, bump the camera. At the top of the barrel, you get this um, silver ring, cap ring, which is a uh, 925K silver. And uh, it says, Vincit Omnia Veritas, which means the truth conquers all. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful center band. Like, that is remarkable. Then the barrel continues along in this beautiful resin material and tapers down again to a very polished um, end cap there. The cap unscrews in one turn, which is very nice, uh, and reveals very smooth threads. No, you know, not a huge step down or anything. And then this interesting sort of section that tapers, but sort of is convex at the same time. Then it flares out and then you get a number six nib, uh, which is the Kilk V2 mirror steel nib uh, made by Bok. I have it here in the fine, and it's available in extra fine fine, medium broad, and double broad. It is a stunning pen. It's got good girth on it, and it fits very, very nicely in the hand. The pen does post somewhat, but not particularly securely, and also becomes quite large. I prefer to use this pen uncapped. I think it's a very good size in the hand. The pen is a standard international cartridge converter, and a converter is provided. The threads to close that down are very, very smooth. You can just see how smooth. Um, but they don't ever, they haven't yet come undone on me, which I uh, appreciate a great deal. Size comparison now with the Lamy Safari. You can see it's a little longer than Safari, just by a few millimetres, uh, but it does make a difference. It's also quite a lot uh, girthier. Uncapped, it is shorter than the Lamy Safari, uh, but not so much shorter that it can't be used unposted. When it is posted, it is quite a long pen, uh, but as I said, it doesn't post super securely. Um, it is like... You can get it to post, and you could probably push it on harder than I'm willing to. I'd just be afraid of cracking, you know, the resin material. But it is quite long, but as I said earlier, unposted, it actually feels very, very comfortable in the hand. It feels like a nice length anyway. The measurements for the Kilk Epigram uh, fountain pen are 140, just under 145 millimetres long. Uh, when it is uh, capped, um, uncapped, it's 129, so it's an okay length. As I said, it does post kind of and becomes about 169 millimeters. Uh, it's quite big. Uh, this area of the section around here is 12 millimeters, so it's a good, you know, girthy section. Feels nice in the hand. The weight of the pen is 29 grams, 21 in the body, and 8 in the cap. So even if you do post it, it feels balanced because a lot of this weight, thanks to the silver and all the nib housing and everything, keeps the balance of the pen very nice in your hand. And it's sort of got a nice sort of profile in the hand as well. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like the, that girth of it and the taper and everything, just it feels very nice. Let's do a writing sample now. We have the Kilk fountain pen. This is the Epigram model. Is a steel number six nib and is made by Bok. Uh, and this is the fine nib. The ink I have in here uh, today is Tatcha Cha. Um, I thought it was a nice match to the uh, milky brown material here. Um, 
Let's do some writing. I'm going to do some quick writing. I specifically wanted to do quick writing with this pen because when you are writing with this pen nice and sort of slowly and steadily and everything it tends to write fairly well but you do get a couple of little like hard starts and things but that is amplified when you write quickly with this pen not that anyone would necessarily write that quickly uh but it's not the uh the wettest pen i've got although like it's putting down a decent amount of ink it's just i don't know if wetness is the concern or if it's just not quite super well tuned i've done nothing to this nib uh while i've been using it i haven't smoothed it or opened it or anything like that as, as it comes and i can only judge the pen uh, and review the pen that um, i have in front of me it's a pretty stiff nib although they talk of like bounce but it's not wet it sort of feels rigid and it's 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 kind of got a strange sort of feedback or drag to it which i i personally don't love i think when it's writing well and as a fine nib, I think it does an okay job. So when you're writing slowly, that although there are a few like little, as I said, hard starts and skips, but uh, yeah, not the sort of pen you could push to any any limits, which is a shame because like this is the kind of pen you want to write with, the the design and the and the you know the the material and stuff. So having a nib that sort of lets the pen down is a bit of a shame. Let's talk price now. So this pen retails for uh, 160 US dollars or from some retailers, 160 euro, uh, including the VAT, um, or through the Kilk website, you can get this pen with a customizable barrel, uh, a, a ring cap barrel, cap band thing there, whatever you want to call it, uh, for like an extra 30 US dollars. Uh, so you can email them and get in touch with them and see what you actually can do with that. I think for a handmade resin pen, 160 US is about what you would expect. Um, I think the material is great, so and it's got that lovely silver band there. It's about what you would expect. Let's talk pros and cons now for the Kilk Fountain Pen uh, epigram here. The only con I have for this pen is that the nib isn't great. It's not for me. It's not my favourite. It's kind of that feedback and drag and it's a little bit dry and inconsistent. It, it kind of, to me, feels a bit like the, uh, the nibs that were on the Pen BBS pens which is a shame when you're paying 160 US for a pen. As I said, I got this at, at a discount, so you can take that into account. But like at full price, 160 US, this is not an inexpensive pen to have a nib that doesn't write well. The pros though, this material is absolutely stunning. Like gobsmackingly beautiful. Um, those swirls that like, it feels like, you know, milky coffee or... It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I I can't speak highly enough about this material. I think it's absolutely stunning, and the the build quality is incredible. The the finishing and the details and the the silver band there absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's yeah, it's 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 a stunning, stunning pen. And from a in the hand feeling, the, the width of this section, the slight shape of this section, it's kind of a bit like those bottleneck. Um, uh, sections that uh, Leonardo use on their pens it's nice it's good like it's a great section so Kilk Design um, which are a Turkish company based in Istanbul have done a remarkable thing with this pen I think the design is beautiful I think the finishing and you know the quality of the workmanship is unreal um, so excited about that uh, and I probably will try and get a new nib for this pen because uh, uh, for me, it's just a little too inconsistent. Uh, and as I said, I can only review the nib I have on it. So if this is the kind of pen you are into, I say get it. At this price point, I think it's pretty good. But just be aware uh, that uh, whether it's the same on this on any other pen, I don't know. But 
I just am not a huge fan of the nib. So I hope you found this video about the uh, epigram model of the Kilt fountain pens to be interesting and useful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.